Reverend, you damn liar. <laughs> Excuse me, General Lee, but I hardly consider that an insult. You said if we did your bidding, we would win the war. I don't know if you've looked out your colorful windows lately, but we are definitely not winning. Did I say it would happen quickly? It's four years of bloodshed, not enough? Sit down, General. I do not want to sit down. I said, sit down, General. The South will fall. I didn't want that. Not at all. Think about it as a, a pause to reload. Wouldn't have happened if not for that. Lincoln, self-righteous shit. Honest Abe, if slavery is not wrong, nothing is wrong. Uh, now we'll just have to wait for the South to rise again. We have to wait to rise again? Yes. Not for that man. You know, I've never thought I'd hate a human as much as I hate Lincoln. Him and his sheep followers, they've made a folk hero out of him. How do you beat a folk hero? Can't. You devour him. You swallow the legend whole, and then you Shit it out, defiled. A shadow of the legend turned upside down. Oh, it will be sweet revenge. Oh, Abraham, I have consumed your soul without ever touching it. Huh. The South and everything we represent will rise again. We will rise stronger than ever. Oh, and the best part is it will come with my revenge. How so? When we rise again, it won't be the south of Lee or Stonewall. It will rise as the party of Lincoln. Everything he opposed, everything he stood against in his lifetime will return in his name. Oh. Oh. And it will come draped in flags. Oh, I love flags. Flags everywhere, lined up in front of the White House like tombstones. And before those glorious flags, my champion will strut. He will dazzle them. He will take all our frustration, all our hurt, all our pain and rage, and he will feed it back to us. <laughs> and the good men and women, they will push back inside, but they'll keep on eating anyway. And keep on eating. That's my favorite. I wish Lincoln would be around to see that, to see how everything he stood for crumbled. All the power of his great republic will fuel what comes next, and that is leaders without fear, regret, or restraint. And how long will it last? It's never how long it lasts. It's about that feeling toward the end. It's like sex. It's the mm, intensity. <laughs> oh, and I love it about the people's faces, the look on their faces, the surprise. Every time they are so surprised at how long it takes to build and how quickly it falls apart. This has happened before. Times beyond counting. How does it end? Well, I don't know. Liar. I believe we've established that. And if I'm not mistaken, I have some traveling to do, and you have a war to lose. Damn you. I've 
believe we've established that as well. Network's interested in an apprentice reunion. Is that your doing, Reverend? No. I'm thinking about it. The more I can stay in the public eye, even with those morons, would be better. You're not than going into television. No, not going back to television. I could be the greatest reality show host of all time. Sit and down. Shut the fuck up. And listen to me, or I will pluck your left eyeball and put it in my drink. You fucking child. You're not going back to work for the networks. You are going to run for president. Oh, I borrowed your tongue for a moment. You don't mind, do you? You're going to run for president against Hillary Clinton. And you're going to start your campaign by questioning Barack Obama's qualifications for office. <laughs> it doesn't matter. You say, you, I heard he wasn't born in America. I mean, come on. Black man named Barack Hussein Obama? And where's his birth certificate anyway? Oh, the racists are going to eat it up. And the others will fall in because they will smell power in you and what you represent. You will dazzle them with charm, that brash outsider TV huckster charm. The Republicans at first will revile you. They're gonna say you're a snake oil salesman, a serial liar, a narcissist. <laughs> no, they are correct. But that's the point. We're not going to be running against the Democrats or the Republicans or the establishment. We're going to run against the truth. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on. Don't be so naive, Donald. You've been running against the truth your whole life. Come on. Successful businessman. Playboy, who's so desired by women, he'd never have to pay for sex let alone take it by force as your birthright. You know, you've just never understood your own potential. You will run for president and you will win. Huh? You will have an inauguration for the ages. Huh? And some will say that your crowd is just a fraction of what Barack Obama had. Oh, they're correct. That's the point. When you gather with your cabinet and your FBI and your Republican lackeys, you will say, isn't it great that we had the biggest inauguration crowds in the history of America? And then you will look at them. I mean, really look at them. I want you to make eye contact with every one of those fuckers in the room. Oh. Because that's when you own them. You won't have to convince people anymore. It's not your opinion against their opinion. Politics is done. You will own the truth, and people will get on board, or they will face your wrath. Oh, many will betray you. They'll testify against you and write books. It doesn't matter. That one meeting will make it all happen. It will seal the deal. Mm. <laughs> God, you're thick. There will be photographs documentation that will put beyond a doubt how many people were at your inauguration. But when you can stand up against 
the power of provable truth, you will be the truth. You will be the power. And you get to shape reality for everyone. And you will have to. A great sickness is coming upon the land. And you will have the power to save millions here and around the country. Spoiler alert, you won't. <laughs> you will deny the virus. You will create the reality. You will tell people what's real. I mean, who are they going to believe? Some weasel faced scientist or their president, their savior. And then you will face your greatest challenge, the next election. You will lose. Mm. Are you not listening to what I'm saying? It doesn't matter that you lost. Who says you lost? What? The voting machines? The ballots? The lamestream media? <laughs> you will deny it. You will stand against them. After all, it was conspiracies from the radical liberals who stole the election in the first place. And you will take it back. You will take it back for the people. You will stand up for the white people. You will make America great again. I wish he were here to see it. Hmm. Uh, just some asshole's been worm food for the last century. Old Abraham. Honest Abe. Truth and justice, his party will run from that like yesterday's pork sandwich. The union will fall. The army will breach the capital. Brother will fight brother, sister will fight sister. And all the high ideals so treasured by so-called righteous people will tumble like the towers. <coughs> and then what will happen? To the human race? No, to me. <laughs> Look, you're mortal. You'll die. Everybody dies. But you will be remembered as the best. The most amazing human ever. Amazing. The best. The greatest. You're lying to me. <laughs> I don't think you've been following. Truth? It's extinct. Why don't you share a drink with me before you go? Nah, you know I don't drink. <sighs> Besides, sounds like I've got some phone calls to make. That's my boy. That's my boy. Thank you.